That's right. Thanks for hanging out with us here. Eve, Shanae, RJ, and Perk. All right, so you've got the heat, mm -hmm. and you've got a group of a lot of talented players. But we're not talking MVP caliber players. So depth versus talent trying to contend for a championship, which one do you choose? I mean, this was a team that two years ago was in the NBA Finals, and somehow they got better. You know, I love the addition of P.J. Tucker. Did you know that he leads the league in three-point shooting percentage at 46%? That's a good get. Uh, Kyle Lowry <laughs> trying to be available, but he still, you know, leads the NBA as well in charges. So you have this addition of offense, addition of defense. They've gotten better. They've got Bam back. I like the Heat. I'm not surprised they're at the top of the East. Yep. Go ahead. Okay, perfect. I'll go. <laughs> so basically what I'm saying is that when you look at this team, you got a uh, former all-star, all-star in Jimmy Butler. You got an all-star in Bam Adebayo. You got a former all-star in, in Kyle Lowry. Yeah. And basically maybe sixth man of the year, maybe most improved when you look at Tyler Hero, depending on how he finishes the season. So while they might not be these superstars, think about the Detroit Pistons mm. and that run that they went on in the early 2000s. Yeah. They won a championship. They beat a superstar-laden Laker team yep. with Carl Malone, with Gary Payton, Kobe, and Shaq because they did it as a group. They did it as a team, and they did it with defense. That's what this I like that reminds call. me of. You're welcome, man. I do this for a living. Here's how I evaluate the Miami Heat. I call them the goons from Dade County because that's what they are. But when you look at the top contenders around the league, when you look at Milwaukee, can Miami beat them in a seven-game series? I would say yes. When you look at the Nets, can they beat them in a seven-game series? I would say yes. If you look at Golden State and the Suns, I would say yes. They have the depth. They have the culture. They play agenda-free basketball. And again, I'm going to double down on this again. No disrespect down, to nobody Bert. else. Down, they have the best coach in basketball when it comes to making in-game adjustments in air exposure. How much does the value, RJ, of them just going to the finals two years ago and losing to the Lakers in six games, by yeah, the yeah. way, impact what they could do this year? Well, and don't forget, in those six games, they had Goran Dragic got hurt and, sure. and Bam out of bio. Right. This sometimes, so he wasn't 100%, which is going to be big when you look at the way Anthony Davis played. When I look at this group, when I look at them top to bottom and the way they played and in he's the finals, better. they have experience. The reason why everyone is like, hey, you can't discount the defending champions in the Bucks is because they got that monkey off their back. They got that monkey off their shoulder, so they're playing with another level of confidence. And I think this team, because they've been there, getting there is not what they're worried about. Eves, I have a question. Yeah. When are we going to talk about Kendrick Perkins' outfit? Because he got the green tie, he got the glasses, I mean, he I got mean, the shoes tucked in. I, I mean, it's a lot of black for that slim yeah, green. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do a little something. Shout out to the wife. She picked the outfit out. <laughs> so I can't make fun of it now because she picked yeah, it out. Absolutely. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, that's that's you cool. see what he was doing there? <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but you know, dress myself. You know what ties it together? It's the glasses. It's yeah. the glasses. <laughs> Jalen Rose wish he could wear glasses like that. Ooh. I'm just saying. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.